Hello YouTube land, this is Jimster586 and I wanted to share something with you something that user mrocket555 pointed out to me uh, this is a simulation of a fire service demo in a high-rise building that was made uh, you know, here on the, the internet so I want to show you exact, give you a quickie look here as to how this works first of course we'll follow the instructions here and we'll end of the building go in there's the elevator bank whoa too far whoa stop there we go first of course we turn the fire service key to on we'll enter the elevator it's not a real big simulation so I'm hoping you can see this okay just the camera a little bit. Now of course we'll turn the fire service key to on. Now I have control of the elevator. And now we'll close the door up. Of course as soon as I let go of the button the door pops back open again. So let's close the elevator door. And let's go down to the basement. Notice it's responding. Also notice, of course, now that we're in the basement, where I told the elevator to go, uh, that the doors will not open unless I press the button. As soon as I let go, it shuts. So we'll hold the door open button. There we go. Then, of course, now that the door is open, it, in order to close it, I have to hold the button until the door shuts. Now I'll take a trip up to the top here. Oop, I don't think I want to go there, so we'll cancel the call. And it just stops on the, the nearest floor. Well, of course, we all know most buildings don't have a 13th floor, so let's go to 13 instead. It takes a, It's not an exactly fast elevator, so it takes a while to get from point A to point B. And then, of course, uh, as I say, to, you know, to, to cancel that call, you just hit the fire call, cancel. And it'll stop at the nearest floor until you decide where it is you want to go. And again, the door sits here, or it sits here with the door closed. Until I press the button. You have to hold the, the door open button all the way. Until the door opens all the way. Close it up. And let's go to a lower floor. Let's pick one at random here. Oh, no, I wanted to go up instead. It's a nice feature here to be able to stop the elevator and decide where you want to go. So let's see what happens if I turn the key back. By turn it, doing that, it's going to return me to the lobby. The only thing I haven't figured out with this demo is how to actually shut it off from the lobby. It doesn't seem to want to let you do that which you should be able to turn the key off in the lobby and return everything to normal service but for some reason it doesn't want to do that so now of course we've been recalled to the lobby this is the part where I've gotten stuck with this because now I can't get out of the elevator I'm stuck in here I just want to give you kind of a, a quick look at this again this is something that user mrocket555 um, sent me the link to this so, I want, so thank you for that, and uh, just wanted to show you how this works in a you know simulation of a high-rise office building. And uh, that's about all I've got for you. you now the fire key is off in the elevator. It's still on out in the lobby because it's not there. You can't turn it off. But it's off in here, and so this car won't do anything until the key is turned back on again. So just a quick demo and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.